Are you seeing how these verses picture the coming rapture? Let's stand back and look at the whole scene as if it were the time before Christ's coming for us and compare what we see with how the Bible describes that glorious day when we are called home. We saw how Peter describes the wickedness of the world, which will receive God's judgment. In those verses, he told about the righteousness of Lot. The similarity between the state of Sodom and the world which our liberal progressive leaders are rushing us towards is completely evident. The state that Sodom was is the state of today's world. Later in that same epistle, Peter speaks about the destruction of the people that he described and about the hope of the believer. Remember, these concepts are made in comparison to Sodom before and after its destruction. Here's what he says in 2 Peter 3. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens will pass away with a great noise and the elements will melt with fervent heat. Both the earth and the works that are in it will be burned up. Therefore, since all these things will be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in holy conduct and godliness, looking for and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be dissolved, being on fire, and the elements will melt with fervent heat? Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. In the time of wickedness, which preceded destruction, Lot was physically snatched back through the door by the angels and rescued by them from the people's evil intent. This is exactly how Paul describes our coming rescue in 1 Thessalonians 4. He says, For this, we say this to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will by no means precede those who are asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel and with the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And thus we shall always be with the Lord. The word Paul uses for caught up there is harpagesometha or in its more recognizable form harpazo. It means to seize or carry by force or to snatch away. This is exactly the picture that we were given when the angels in the house seized Lot and pulled him behind the door and into the presence of the Lord. If you remember, after Lot was pulled to safety, the door was shut and no one could open it. All the outside were excluded from safety. Now see how Jesus explains the same concept to the church of Philadelphia and the result of being left out of his safe protection, just as Sodom was. He says, and to the angel of the church in Philadelphia, right? These things, says he who is holy, he who is true, he, he who has the key of David, he who opens and no one shuts, and shuts and no one opens. I know your works. See, I have set before you an open door, and no one can shut it. For you have a little strength, have kept my word, and have not denied my name. Indeed, I will make those of the synagogue of Satan who will say they are Jews and are not, but lie. Indeed, I will make them come and worship before your feet, and to know that I have loved you. Because you have kept my command to persevere, I will also keep you from the hour of trial which shall come upon the whole world to test those who dwell on the earth. Behold, I am coming quickly. Hold fast to what you have, that no one may take your crown. There is an hour of trial coming upon the whole world, and the world will be destroyed because of the wickedness of the people. But we are promised safety from this, just as Lot was. Jesus' own words promise to keep us out. The Greek word is ek, out of this hour of trial. There is deliverance from it because of our position in him. Here is how Paul describes it in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. He says, you are all sons of light and sons of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk are drunk at night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and as a helmet, the hope of salvation. For God did not appoint us to wrath, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. 